So that was a great example for that, how to utilize the same patterns in different uh, locations on the neck in the same key, same key, right? So started out here on the A fret, uh, one, two, two, and then third on the E, starting on the A fret with one upstroke in terms of the right hand. The heavy palm muting is always incorporated and welcome because that creates so much more uh, density and texture and attitude and it just sounds cooler. So why not then? Look. Alright, so this is a great example for that, how to link these same exact links found in different uh, octaves uh, to create a more complex and rich sounding uh, something, you know, that, that, that eventually just will round out and it will make perfect sense as you link them together. So let's take a quick look at it, how it was incorporated and what positions can we pull it out within the same key. So we're in the key of G tuned flat, uh, and this is the Paradise City riff notes that we're ultimately using here. So it's like the one, two, three, one, two, three, almost like this whole chromatic uh, sort of deal. You're more than welcome to use all these notes, even you can pull in like the uh, open string. Alright, Slash is highly known for that and he does it great, so why not get inspired by that and incorporate it to our own play style. So what we got here is, this is like the main theme and this is like a really establishing motive for this sort of stuff. Um, and the, the, the trick again, it's extremely high, uh, it, it needs to be highlighted a ton, is that the right hand, okay? so. The difficulty to pull this out correctly, it's not laying in the left hand. In terms of the left hand, the lick is pr pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, but the, the miracle happens here really in the right hand. And there's several different techniques that I encourage you guys to spend some time with and, and break it down for you and get really comfortable with. Starting with a, uh, a really good tackling technique, okay? So really attack those strings. Heavy right hand, it's crucially important, all right? so. I had a previous chapter, if you haven't seen it, check it out, I'm gonna put it somewhere here maybe. Um, check it out, uh, at the end of the video you'll find a link here. Uh, it's about the right hand, so having that really uh, heavy approach, okay? Don't baby your guitar, that's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so hit the strings, that, then the guitar will resonate, then you will have so much more rock and roll uh, sound to your to your to your play style. So this is number one. Second, while you're doing such licks as how you how you pull these licks out, it's really important. So let's focus a little bit on this particular lick, how to make it really effective. So I really recommend it to you to start it out with an upstroke, and uh, I'm really mimicking here for you to see it, what I'm saying. Like So the lick starts on the A, a string, right? And then start with an upstroke. The rest of the lick basically is going to be a hammer-on from uh, the first fret to the second fret on the A string, and then you're going to finish it on the G string. So as you can see, it's really, really simple in terms of the, uh, of the left hand. But the difficulty is to keep your momentum up with your right hand. So what you want to do here is uh, is one upstroke and one downstroke. And with this kind of movement, with this up and down kind of tackling, you can keep this really aggressive kind of like. And this kind of flotation stays true to to the rest of the style. Okay, so this is really important. This is not it's it's 
not something that your gear will get you it's not something that your pedals will tweak you or like none of that will help okay this is the right hand so don't confuse the rig with play style this is extremely important to so have it down really good spend some time with it okay so here is the example and as you notice the lick was the same exact thing that we did up here or down here on the lower octave but we're moving it up and having that kind of uh, uh, sensation that, that the lick was like uh, something more wide and more open and 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 it just gets into different dimensions by doing so one more time breaking this little pattern down a little bit slower all right <laughs> trying to really mimicking with the right hand so you can see the pick it's actually one upstroke hammer on and then the next time you pick is a down stroke on the D string now this little band can be a great linking pad Okay, so in between those two you can use like linking patterns like something like like a, a, a sliding uh, or you can utilize again the chromatics of the home box of the G blue scale and then you find yourself right here on the root note octave so G right and then adding this bluesy sound just as we did it here but now you have it in two different places and from then on so then the third option to go with uh, for this instance would be like uh, it could be really anything so after this chromatic uh, ascending sort of stuff you know uh, this is the key here like where we arriving to Uh, slide up to the seventh on the G and sixth on the B, and then these notes again. Look, same thing, right? And then you have three different uh, routes to take or to utilize and um, link them together, uh, resulting in this very complex, very rich sounding. Uh, a solution the key element here is to have the confidence and not to be intimidated not to be thrown off by any means while you're switching from one to another okay so so you can create these own your own patterns but just make sure that you keep up with the with the dynamics the rhythm is on point okay these are important i hope this will have some impact and if this is something that you were seeking for if this was something that you were uh, unsure of and then uh, we'll take it from here very soon keep in touch guys i really appreciate all the new subscribers and i want to send my greetings for all of you uh, it's really encouraging and I, I've been working with a lot of you now and uh, work has been great and let's keep up the great work and don't forget practice is on top all right so this should be always something you know making progress is ex extremely important okay so challenge yourself keep yourself on the track of making progress this is number one you can you can do nothing you know there's no shortcuts you have to put the work in and the rest will come okay so i hope this will help uh if you guys uh, dig the content i appreciate it. if you like if you're a comment you help me i hope i help you 
And until I see you very soon, guys. Hasta la vista, baby.